Greetings and welcome. In this video, I will demonstrate the process of creating an installer for your JavaScript web application using Electron and Electron Builder. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos. To implement Electron Builder in your web application, you need to have a basic application built with JavaScript and Electron. For this video, I have created an example project to demonstrate how to implement Electron Builder quickly and easily. As you can see, my example project consists of Electron, a TypeScript backend service, and a React frontend UI. The first step is to open the package.json file in the project overview and check if all the necessary dependencies and parameters are already configured. After that, open your web browser and search for npm electron builder. Go to the npm page and copy the installation link. Return to your project and paste the link to install electron builder as a dependency. You can add save dev to install it directly as a development dependency. The electron builder is now installed. Next, we need to go back to our package.json file. Under dev dependencies, we should see Electron Builder and its version. After that, we need to configure the NSIS and build parameters. To do this, we can open the online documentation of Electron Builder at electron.build slash configuration slash sys. In this documentation, we can learn all about the builder and the target operating system. In this example, our target is the Windows installer. Now, in your package.json file, under sys, you can copy any NSIS parameters that you need and pass them to your project. For example, the artifact name parameter describes a combination of the product name, setup, project version, and build number to create an executable file. You can change this parameter to fit your needs. Additionally, it's necessary to include an icon for the setup. After configuring the NSIS parameters, Go to the terminal and before building the setup, you need to first build the entire project. After building the project, our setup is now ready to be generated. To do this, we need to run the command npm run dist in the terminal. Please ensure that you have configured and defined dist in the scripting beforehand. The builder may take some time to generate the setup. Once the installer has finished without any errors, we can find our setup in the project directory under src slash dist slash. This was a quick demonstration of Electron Builder. If you have any questions or need help, please let me know in the comments. And if you found the video informative and helpful, please like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.